Parkinson's disease is a chronic disease of the central nervous system, causing people to have shaking, muscle stiffness, and difficulty moving and speaking. When medication can't help, patients may be candidates for deep brain stimulation, or DBS. It can provide fast and dramatic results. 58-year-old Linda Smart takes nothing for granted these days. Driving, walking, um, just any daily activity was limited. Twelve years ago, doctors diagnosed Linda with Parkinson's disease. Medication helped at first, but gradually her symptoms came back. Going out to dinner, I couldn't cut my food. I mean, my husband had to help me do that. Really, in the last two or three years, it was pretty hard to sit there and kind of watch your wife deteriorate like that. This is how I check. For the past few months, Linda has been able to control her tremors with the touch of a button. And it's off. It tells me it's off. Watch what happens when Linda shuts off the device, delivering tiny electrical pulses to her brain. I can feel like my muscles tightening up and the shaking kind of coming back. Linda turns it back on and almost instant relief. The uh, beauty of this uh, therapy is that the patient have control over the stimulation. During surgery, doctors insert two wires into very precise locations in the brain. The wires are connected to cables and a small battery they implant under a patient's clavicle. It's got to have a seat right here. Dr. Luca says experts still aren't completely sure why the stimulation works, but they do have some theories. We are able to disrupt the pathological oscillations in the brain and basically br uh, bring back the brain to the, its original state. I think it's like having my wife back 10, 12 years ago. It's like we've turned the clock back. In most cases, patients remain awake during the DBS surgery so doctors can communicate with them to ensure the proper placement of the wires.